Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to uninstall Windows 10 and go back to Windows 7. It's free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and begin by opening up the Action Center by going over to the right hand side of the screen down here on the taskbar. Left click on the notification tab, go up and click on all settings. That opens up the settings window. Now go over to update and security, Windows Update Recovery and Backup and click on that. And that will open up the update and security screen. And now let's go ahead and move on down to recovery. We'll click here. And that opens up the options of one, reset this PC or go back to Windows 7 or down below advanced startup. What we want to concentrate on is go back to Windows 7 and you can do this for one month after you upgrade it to Windows 10. Now this will not work on a clean install. Click on get started and that will start the process of downgrading back to Windows 7. And the first window is getting things ready and this whole process does take a couple of hours just want to give you a heads up so after a few minutes or so of seeing getting things ready you'll see this screen here why are you going back and you can click on any of these these are default reasons or you can go down and click for another reason and put your comments um, right here where it says tell us more and those comments will be sent back to Microsoft now for uh, this demonstration I'm just going to go up here and click on or put a check mark by Windows 7 uh, seems more reliable and uh, no matter where you put your check mark keep in mind you can still put a comment right here on there tell us more and uh, that comment will be sent back to Microsoft once done go ahead and click on next and then you'll get this screen what you need to know um, this might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. It can take up to a couple of hours, so keep that in mind. And definitely leave your PC plugged in and turned on. And um, after going back, keep in mind that you'll have to reinstall some of your programs. And uh, you'll lose any changes made to the settings after you um, upgrade it to Windows 10. And also, are your... Uh, files backed up. It's a good idea to back up your files um, before continuing. Okay, click on next if you're sure you want to move forward and then it says uh, don't get locked out. If you used a uh, password to log in to Windows 7 when you were running Windows 7, be sure that you do know what your password is because once you go back to Windows 7 you will have to put your password in. So if you're not sure, definitely click on cancel. If you know what your password was and you used one, click on next. And then you get this screen. Thanks for trying Windows 10. And uh, once you're sure you want to move forward and go back to Windows 7, go ahead and click on this um, button right here. And then after a few seconds, you'll get a restart on your computer. And then you'll get this screen restoring your previous version of Windows. Now keep in mind, um, we're reverting back to Windows 7 from upgrading to Windows 10. But this method and steps also works um, if you had upgraded from Windows 8.1 to uh, Windows 10 as well. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and like my video.